This is gonna blow your mind. Welcome to DRM Fish and Corals, where vibrant corals and fascinating fish bring the ocean to life. Subscribe now and join our underwater adventure. Hi, and welcome back to my channel. On today's episode of DRM, I will be showing and explaining everything about Kalkwasa and why Kalkwasa is important and good for your marine tank. So obviously to get nice and healthy corals, you need to provide them with calcium. And Kalkwasa is one of the easiest and probably the bestest products out there that everyone can do it doesn't take a scientist nor an experienced reaver basically it's as simple as adding it to some water but it's important it's RO water and um, just give it a little mix, not, not too much mix, just a little. And set it, set it up with one of your dozers. And that's it. Right. So the pros of Kalkwasa is obviously calcium itself. And... Uh, as most of the LPS and SPS corals specifically require calcus, well, calcium for the structure growth and obviously the skeleton which then the polyps grow from like torches, even um, the clam, you got your LPSs uh, which is um, Oh, I keep forgetting the name. Never mind. We've got chalices. got hammer corals. Every coral has a specific type of skeleton. Apart from softies. And since they have to grow the skeleton. It's like humans. They require a certain amount of calcium to become healthy and obviously strong so um, obviously it's really important to give them the calcium they require and um, Kalkwasa has to be the easiest thing that does it apart from all reef that's a different caliber but yeah it also maintains pHs and um, obviously is also you have to be care very careful because uh, the pHs do rise and drop so it's important to maintain it but if you have a problem raising it those in Kalkwasa will sort that issue out in no time and obviously like I says those in the Kalkwasa will help your corals grow quick because of the amount of calcium most of the corals take in that obviously the skeletons will start growing much quicker with the right dosages and the truth is this is probably the easiest thing to mix like it doesn't require mixing proper mixing I will show you guys in a minute how and why I do just want to get the key details out but yeah, I mean, it doesn't take a genius. And then on top of that, it's really easy to dose if you've got the pump. Ideally, I would recommend buying anyone that wants to dose Kalkwasa is buying a one little pump. Even this one, I mean, this is broken. So um, I just got it on the side there, like. But you, I, I got mine set up because I do five liters of 500 to 5000 milliliters a uh, week which equal equivalent 
like 700 and something milliliters a day and I doze every hour on average just 29 point something milliliters per hour so um, I set, got it set up for every hour dosages so yeah I mean uh, that's what I seem to have a uh, good uh, results with and I don't really want to mess it around since this is Reefa 250 so 5 liters 1 liter per day oh sorry 700 milliliters per day it should be just good enough I mean obviously it all depends on what system you run how big is your system and how much water evaporates it's there's maths to it but obviously I just divided mine into a week and it does good enough but yeah so obviously you got your car quasar it comes in the powder form like dust white flakes so obviously it's really important as well to let me just adjust the camera actually you know what I'll take the camera in my hands so yeah I got my box here which is five liters 500 milliliters of water I roll water very important part and Kalkwasa well they specify that to mix up four liters of water you need to one teaspoon obviously we got five liters so what I will be doing is adding a juicier teaspoon just chuck it in give it a little stir you don't want to add too much air so obviously just scrape that little bit off okay now grab some like a, something long and just gently really gently wave it across because you will be dropping to the bottom where the dust is because calquasa doesn't really dissolve correctly so um you will never dissolve it so give it a liquid shake probably like 20 seconds max and uh, it had cannot be a feisty one because you don't want to add no water to I mean no air to it get it closed and that's it and that's all that's literally all it takes to do to cow quasa and um, yeah I mean can't go wrong with all this corals looking this healthy and uh, growing at crazy rates so yeah, I mean, uh, nice short video today, and um, I hope this video will be helpful for you guys, and uh, I will appreciate a like and subscribe, hopefully, and uh, thank you for watching, see you later.